Yes, Christina. I am so excited to be following my dream here in the big city. Tracy Tooley, respected history reporter. But my first assignment is so difficult. I have to get to know the real Henry VIII. The man behind the myths. The king behind the preconceptions. The monarch. <laughs> yeah, you get it. Anyway, what's new? Yeah, oh my god, did you see her Insta story? It's like she thinks she's on Love Ocean. Everyone's trying to be perfect and impress their friends. I... That's it. Maybe Henry VIII was trying to be Insta perfect. Let's investigate. Oh. So it's Christine, I'll call you back. is Tracy Tooley, competent, strong, and not stressed about this report. Like the best social media influencers, Henry VIII knew how to make himself look good to others. For starters, look where we are! Hampton Court Palace was one of the king's biggest and most stylish show homes, but I need to go deeper to find out how this impressive palace really works. <laughs> that smells delicious. Okay, Hampton Court Palace, hey, it's lunchtime. Now go, go, go! I'm in the kitchens of Hampton Court Palace with the cook. Right, sunshine. If this meaty Mr. Pig isn't ready in two minutes, I'm going to put you on a spit and roast you until your skin crackles, okay? And I'm going to stitch you to a chicken and make our own speciality cork and trees. Capiche? Well, cook, this looks like a fun place to work. I suppose you've got to keep up high standards for the king. The king? The king doesn't eat his food from here, lassie. He's got his own special cooking kitchen. Oh, no. We're here to serve the king's court. All the servants and the hangers-on and the right royal randomers. Well, pressure's off then. We serve 400 people twice a day. I stand corrected. That's why your kitchens are so big. Big? <laughs> we take up a third of the palace's whole ground space, Pally. We've got these big fireplaces and these big hatches where we lay out all the platters so they can be taken up by the servants to the Great Hall. Service! Oh, still asleep, are we? Well, do all the servants just sleep where they work? The low ranking ones like him do, yeah. But not at lunchtime. Now wake up, you absolute! So, that was food. What about drink? Beneath Hampton Court Palace is this impressive wine cellar. Who goes there? Are you guzzling the royal wine? This wine is extremely exclusive to the king and his friends. It's not for commoners. I, I hardly ever drink while I'm working, mate. Who are you? Oh, good policy. I'm Richard Hill, the sergeant of the cellar. Sergeant of the cellar? The booze boss? There must be a never-ending supply of wine down here. Oh no, we run out of everything. When the king's court descends on the palace, they only stay for about four weeks before everything's gone. The wine's gone, the beer's gone, even the animals. They're slaughtered for food. Even my favourites, like Mr Pig. And then the sewage. 400 people straight into the river. Crikey, where does everyone go after four weeks? Oh, on to the next palace, do the whole thing again. So that's how Henry manages to keep impressing his guests. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to take this French wine to the king. <laughs> Can I come with? Uh, no, the, the king is not, um, not receiving guests at this time. Oh, really? Did you find it so easy to lie to Mr Pig? I told you that in confidence. How dare you say his name! the grandest dining room of Hampton Court Palace, the Great Hall. But Henry didn't eat here. He had an even more exclusive VIP area. Henry would eat in a smaller, beautiful room, a bit like this one. Wait a second, who's this? Mamma mia! I'm sorry, I, I didn't think anybody else was here. You're Sebastian Justinian, the ambassador to England from Venice. Were you trying on Henry VIII's clothes? Uh, to be honest, yes, he did. Henry is the best dressed sovereign in the world. That is a quote from one of my letters. 
Look at this beautiful Tudor gown with the doublet and hose and the stylish slashed sleeve. The sleeves show off how much material you can afford and also they are ripped so it looks like you ripped them in a manly battle. <laughs> Fantastico! Then, below the knee, Henry wore stockings held up by garters. These are very figure-hugging because it is very important to show a man's sexiness with his calves. <laughs> Favoloso! What? In Tudor England, men's calves are considered sexy? See, si, but uh, don't interrupt, huh? Henry spent 16,000 ducats on his wardrobe. It would take me, as an ambassador, 20 years to make 16,000 ducats, so I am supremo geloso of Henry. Ben! King Henry was very conscious of his public image. In his early years, he had this portrait painted, which showed just his upper half and face, looking off to the side as if he's thinking or praying. This painting implies Henry is a wise, God-fearing man. But look at this portrait from years later. Henry has changed his profile pic. A towering, full-body portrait. The king stares down at the viewer, his eyes following you round the room, like Alexa if she had eyes. So King Henry was a masterful showman and spared no expense on food, wine, grand buildings, and stylish clothes to impress his friends. In the world of Tudor social media, he'd have got thousands of me thinks I like it this much Lee. Ooh, I like it. I like it. But do you think this tells us everything about him? How would you feel going to one of Henry's banquets and facing the king in person? This is Tracy Tooley spinning true news from Tudor Dudes. Oh, okay, Henry. <laughs> Just one quick selfie. <gasps> this is going on Insta.